Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again back with another fitness video. So this video is about story time. When I say story time, you know, I, you know, I got hold of this old video of mine, you know, which was about, I think, a couple of years ago, about seven, six, seven years ago, you know, one of this, another friend of mine, he shot it from his camera. So this video of mine uh, is has about me posing and flexing, you know, my body shots after my heavy uh, uh, steroid cycle. Now, I wanted to see the progress and, and you know how this is shaping up. So I asked him to make a video of it so that, you know, I can probably go back and, you know, once I grow older, I can look back at it and say, hey, what, this is exactly what happened when I took it. So. Uh, the cycle that uh, when you when you when I'm when you're going to see this video, uh, I took uh, uh, stanozolol uh, about uh, uh, 50 mg uh, every other day, which means 50 mg's every alternate day, and uh, test prop, you know, test, test, uh, testosterone proponent, 100 mg every alternate day. So uh, EOD is over every other day, and I ran it for about. Uh, two months close to about eight weeks and uh, obviously my diet was very very strict and what you see in this video is that you know despite me little muscular I became actually skinny and not just skinny even my chest kind of started protruding uh, for a simple fact that uh, because my waist kind of shrunk and my chest came out it was the same but it just came out it started looking a little weird to me that time though my abs were, were pretty sharp and you know i was looking pretty good you know i was looking pretty chiseled but not muscular at all so this kind of made me kind of thinking that you know maybe i didn't do the right cycle maybe i need to add some more stuff in it i should have done it this way i should have done it that way so let's just analyze and 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 see how my physique looked after that cycle so you ready Let's go guys. So here we go guys. This is how I looked after my cycle. Now, clearly, you know, uh, uh, and, and I shared this with you that, you know, I definitely look a little uh, leaner. Uh, pardon me for the video quality uh, because, you know, this has been shot in one of the men's rooms, you know, you know after my gym session. Uh, this clearly is an example of uh, how starved I was actually you know I was told by these so-called trainers not to eat much I was pretty much on uh, boiled food and, and and you know not eating any salt just just pretty much eating uh, boiled food that's, that's the time when I was a uh, non-vegetarian and I was also eating uh, fish and, and, and chicken to kind of support my protein intake so uh, Obviously, you know, if you see the chest here, you know, obviously, because I was on a heavy test dosage of test prop, uh, uh, and that's what I keep telling you guys, if you don't know much about steroids, you should never get into it because test proponent definitely leads to uh, uh, chest fat and gyno. So it's clearly, it is pretty evident here. My chest fat uh, is just protruding out uh, uh, and uh, to an extent that it almost can be mistaken as a gyno or it may be a gyno. I don't know. But, but what I'm my experience tells me it's not, uh, it's fixable. So uh, clearly, uh, you know, that's the result of uh, high test dosage. Definitely, I look a little, uh, uh, you know, toner. My waist size is here is somewhere between 30, 31, actually between 29 to 31, pretty lean. And I'm six feet tall, over six feet tall. So it looks pretty cool. Plus, I'm also weighing about somewhere between 85 here. So uh, it's kind of uh, a body that you know uh, which you don't want it's fairly ripped but at the same time uh, it's not the kind of body that you should aim for so that is something that i wanted to share with you that uh, uh, this is exactly what steroids do if they were to go wrong which is uh, the chest fat you know though you do get abs, that's why i keep telling you guys you know don't get obsessed with abs because abs not going to get you anywhere see these abs but you got to focus on the overall body and that is exactly what uh, i missed out on that you know i just started doing abs 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 the next thing you know that you know um uh, it just completely got missed out plus i was doing extensive amount of cardio too so that's the reason i don't have too many muscles on me i just have abs. that's why i keep telling you guys you really don't have to go crazy on abs you know uh, you just have to focus pretty much on 
muscle development and then lifting heavy here i was not lifting heavy at all actually i was, wasn't even lifting uh, one of those guys told me that all you have to do is just bloody uh, do high repetitions of light weight so that is exactly what i'm doing here you know and the problem with this kind of body is that you know though you look okay but you know because you don't have too much of muscle here you cannot take it to the next level so the mistake i made was not doing heavy weights and because i wasn't needing enough and this is exactly what it led to so this is exactly uh, 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 what my first not first like uh, after about test and stana cycle looked like uh, you know again one of those you know when i look back at it and you know i just look you know i feel good about it or feel bad about it there's nothing i can do but hey i locked it as part of my memory so guys do share your input on it you know what do you think of it you know uh, i hope you got some learning from it that you know you really don't have to take steroids you know when you don't know anything about it it can go wrong or so this is a clear cut example of chess going wrong so i hope you learn something from it and 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 uh, don't take that route so until we meet again and oh, by the way if you have any questions around this or if you want any input you want to share with me feel free to reach out to me on my facebook or youtube or whatsapp and i'll be very happy to take this discussion forward so until we meet again peace